I was looking at some of the scriptures about birth. There's not as many scriptures in the Bible on the word birth, as you might think, since grace is in there 150 times. But birth, he mentions when they put the onyx stones on the breastplate for the priest to put the children of tribes of Israel's names, put them by the order of the birth. And we often talk about that, don't we? We often talk about the order of our birth. In my family, it was Douglas, Chris, Wayne, Wilma, Dwight. So that was the order of the birth. And then when you think of birth, he said that Judas, because he betrayed Christ, would have been better to have not been born. And in another place, he talks about a man that uh, though he lived a hundred years, or, or, although he lived a long time, had a lot of children, um, that that it, it was of he would have been better to have just uh, had an untimely birth, because he he didn't take time to look, to know the Lord. That knowing the Lord is the most important thing we have to do in our gap. We're born, we die, and in here we're to know the Lord. We're to become in fellowship totally with Jesus Christ. And he even says the day of your death, he said a good name is better than precious ointment. And the day of your death is better than the day of your birth. And what he meant by that is when you're born, you've got all this to be done. You need to repent. You need to convert. You need to get baptized. You need to have your heart sanctified, your soul sanctified and cleansed and live a righteous life so that the day of your death, all the testing of this world is over and you're ready to go home. And so the day of your death, if you've lived a good Christian life, you're, you're, you've proved yourself to the Lord that you are his friend and that you loved him as Lord. But on the day of your birth, you've got all that proving to be done. And you know, this birthday was very different because in many things that I have just had all my life, I didn't have this time. Uh, my sister always got me pajamas, but um, some of the family, the granddaughters got pajamas. Uh, there was always things that, that were done, and uh, this is one of them that someone replaced. Now, I don't know who replaced this yet. Uh, I won't find that out till December, but a secret sister from the Maysville Church of Christ and Christian Union sent these beautiful flowers and they, they are just gorgeous. Um, there was a supper here the other night in which the family all brought in food and we celebrated my birthday. Yesterday, so many of you took time to, to let me know you were wishing me a happy birthday. I received cards. Um, the idea that people stop and just say, happy birthday. We recognize birthdays and we recognize our family's birthdays, our friends. It's a time in life, the Lord set up many memorials. And for us to take time to notice each other's special days is just one of those things that also fits in between between the birth and the death. It's, it's some of those celebrations that we have along the way that make life so great. I went yesterday and had lunch with one of the staffs I worked with at West Schools in Portsmouth, a great time. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord between your birth and your death.